My mission on this channel is simple, to educate and to inspire you guys. And I'm doing a pretty good job. Not because I'm satisfied with the way that I talk or the way that I present aquariums to you, but because of two things. The first thing, the number of people, beginners, commenting that they like the low-tech version better is smaller and smaller. Reason number two that I'm thinking that we're doing a good job here is that uh, when we reviewed your plenty tanks in one of the previous episodes, we've seen a great number of medium level or very advanced tanks. I'm quite happy with what we're doing here. I hope that you guys are happy too. Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. I'm just gonna glue the hell out of this video. Let me tell you what today's topic is. I'm going to escape this tank. It no longer has a betta fish in it and this is one of the topics that I want to clarify for you. We talked about aquarium temperature and I cannot stress how important it is to have a nice and cool water in your planted tank, otherwise you're prone to algae. This doesn't mean that you cannot do a better tank, for example, with 26-28 uh, degrees Celsius and you're gonna have algae. Obviously, the exception will strengthen the rule, but I'm trying to find the proper way for beginners to do an algae-free planted tank, and that is my mission number one here. The second misconception that I'm fighting with in the comments is that you can do a nice tank without CO2. Again, yes, you can do a nice tank without CO2, but if you want lush growth, healthy-looking plants, plants that fill in the carpet, you need CO2 injection. Okay, but CO2 injection is too expensive. No, it is not. Today, I'm gonna tell you why. The third view that gets me frustrated is the layout. I like the low-tech layout better. And I know why you do, because you can relate to the low-tech layout much better. Why? Because you can feel that you can do it. And my mission on this channel is to inspire you to believe in yourself, to teach you how to do it, and to know that you can do a very sophisticated layout that has a story. And with that, we're ready to start talking about this tank that uh, you see on the left side of the picture. First problem, technology is visible. The second problem is the temperature. We had a better fish in this tank. It was 26 degrees Celsius. We were constantly fighting with algae and we introduced some Boraras Brigitae or similar, I don't even remember, because it was taken out by Lori this morning and the tank has gotten much more stable. Because of the lack of the CO2, the carpet, the Marsilea Crenata and Marsilea Hirsuta in the foreground did not want to grow properly. Another reason why I believe that this tank did not live up to the expectation of the viewers is that nobody wanted to take it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today Take care of the technology. I'm gonna tweak the layout a little bit. I'm gonna remove probably all the plants, introduce the CO2 injection with the CO2 system that I talked about at the beginning of this video. We're gonna use the yeast-based CO2 system. Let's see what uh, Vicky has to say about that. What is this? I love it. The owl mug. On Fridays, it, that's a must. It's okay. not Friday. It's, it's, a, it's a Thursday video, you know that. Sure. Hello, guys. If you want to use the Aquario Now CO2 system... You have to ask her because I don't know anything about this. <laughs> so you have to mix this for us. You're just going to need 300 milliliters of warm water. Then you just mix it. Mixer. Yeah. Should we put some music on? Do you want to? No, 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 you do it. <laughs> Enjoy. Is it used? No, it's just the, the jelly. Oh, this oh, is the yeast. Yuck! <laughs> okay, and then after 24 hours you introduce the contents of this bag into this. Yes, with more 200 milliliters of water. Oh. That's it. 
Okay, we already introduced the uh, bottle in there for a day and uh, the yeast is waiting to be silica gel. We don't need that. You're gonna mix the first portion with 200 milliliters of water. Introduce this whole thing into the bottle. Wait one or two days and the CO2 will start to come. If the room temperature is not high enough, so it's not above 24, 25 degrees Celsius, you will need a heater below the bottle. Sebi, thanks. This is the Neo CO2 warmer. It has a USB connection, I love it. Put the bottle on top and then you can buy refills. So how long this whole thing will last for an aquarium like this? It will probably last about five to six months. The only problem is that you cannot really stop the CO2 for the night. So you will have a constant CO2 injection even, even during the night, which is not needed by the plants. We had this on the 20 liter tank that uh, we had a cinematic video about. I'm gonna show you some pictures now. Yeah, that tank is gone. It's gone, it's been taken by a customer. All right, so let's start working. Before I start taking out the water, I'm gonna find the place for the skimmer. Why is the skimmer on the side that is visible for most? The only place that I can put it's here. We need to find the Black Sea Rio stone that will cover this whole thing from the front. That, that guy, he knows what he's doing. He told me to glue this on the skimmer. Don't do this at home. This is an epic failure. I so hate do-it-yourself stuff, guys. Even if it's about, no, this, this is trash. I just trashed the skimmer. It doesn't work with the plastic. I'm just gonna use the super glue to glue the glue to the skimmer. And this was supposed to be a video for beginners. Okay, so we drained this tank completely and I'm looking at the Marsilea and I don't like what I'm seeing. It's infested with moss. found some fine filter mesh which was protecting the soil from rolling forward. Some people ask me whether you need to change this. You don't. Because we will have CO2, I'm going to use the uh, Eleocaris acicularis mini. I'm going to use the pangolino, fill up the whole background with Anubias instead of the moss, it will look more clean. I took this from the uh, 450 liter tank, which has the bonsai tree in the middle, and I'm planning to remove the bonsai in one of the future videos, stay tuned. You could probably see the difference between the two Anubias. This one is covered a little bit with algae. It doesn't grow that lush. You can see that it's lacking something. It's CO2. Wow. 
One of the other advantages of the CO2 injection is that I could get rid of the Marsilea, which is the only foreground plant that actually can survive without CO2, the only low energy foreground plant. And I can introduce this lush green hair grass instead. I'm gonna push it into the soil and I'm gonna trim it regularly. This will be two, maybe three centimeters. I'm going to use 10 pots of hair grass in this tank. You can do it with two. Also, if you have more light, the plants will stay down. They will not go towards the light, so you can keep a nice and low carpet. And what is a good light? Well, you've got the lighting tutorial for that. Check that out. So let's use this trident, which is a lot thinner than the microsorum, probably narrow, that we used here. I'm gonna use the narrow on the other side. Okay, let's see what we did on the water with lights. The moment of truth and the skimmer works the only thing that is going to be visible is the co2 diffuser because that needs to be in front of the flow we should glue this on <laughs> the co2 bubbles will raise just in front of this and this will push them into the tank so how are you going to clean this if it's glued on when you take this whole thing out, you could drip some ADA superge or something that uh, cleans the diffusers and then just rinse the whole thing together. Looks much more organic. The camouflage skimmer. So we basically did the same thing like you see on the right side of the picture now. There's an internal technology hidden by rocks that are covering it from outside. Let's go with the Pocostemon helferi, a plant that we don't really use a lot. Adding that to the background at the bottom of the rocks. Please let me know what you think of the end result of the tweaking session. Don't forget the three rules. Hit that like button if you like this video. Please do not forget to subscribe if you didn't do so yet. And don't forget that we have a membership if you want to support the video production. We welcome your help in that. We'll see you next week. Goodbye. What? So what's the problem here? Why isn't it's 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 not brand new. It's brand new.